Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Simulator Classic. Today we're back on the Buxton line at Disley, where if you remember we left our class 156 last time. We're going to be driving all the way to Buxton on this absolutely fantastic Just Trains version of this route. I say Just Trains version of this route, it's the only version of this route as far as I'm aware at this time. But uh, yeah, really, really impressed so far. Uh, if you remember in the last episode, I was quite excited about this. And we haven't actually, I mean, from, Ho uh, not Holmes Chapel, from, um, come on, think of the name, Joe, for goodness sake. Uh, from Hazel Grove, I knew it began with an H. Uh, from Hazel Grove to Disney, that's the only really new section of route run now. But obviously, now, the rest of it's brand new. Uh, yeah, Hazel Grove to Disney is all we've done. But this is all exciting, and I think you'll find from uh, from from looking at this route, it's really, really well done. Just trains, in my opinion, now, and I think I said this last time, are the they're really, they're really setting a new standard for route building, aren't they? I mean, look how lush it is, the lack of repeating assets, the every, everything is just wonderful, and it, it's just a nice place to be driving this route. I know it's only a short route uh, in comparison to the Hope Valley. Having said that. If you are going up to Buxton on one of these stopping services, it will take you an hour to get there. Same as from Manchester to Sheffield on an express service, it will take you an hour. So, you know, you've, you've got, it's longer geographically, but it's still a good amount of, uh, good amount of gameplay, good amount of gameplay, sorry, for your money. Better not start with the hiccups, not while recording, Joe, come on. So we're on our way up to New Mills, Newtown. I don't know if, if you uh, if you look across the valley, can you actually see? You can probably see the Hope Valley line, which uh, sort of goes up that way, and uh, and it runs parallel. I know when I've been on the train in the past, uh, and we've been coming down Hope Valley, I have actually seen a pair of Northern 150s racing down here. I've been like, oh wow, there's a train over there. And I actually thought to myself, I wonder where that line goes. And here we are. It goes to Buxton, people. That's where it goes. We're having a leisurely poodle up here, it says uh, please note that timings are tight so you'll need to ensure you push your driving to the limit. Not the case actually, there's no timings at all on this, so uh, so we're, we're having a leisurely poodle and just enjoying the scenery. We're going to have no operational incidents, it's just going to be chill and we're going to love every second of it. How's that? Couple of people as well. Uh, there was somebody that mentioned in the comments uh, that the Buxton train uh, that this was unrealistic because the Buxton train never uses 13 uh, or 14. Uh, this is not the case anymore. Yes, of course, the uh, the Buxton train does go from the main shed in uh, in Manchester Piccadilly. However, this scenario is set in 2005, of course. Where uh, oh, hang on, what am I doing? I'm pressing F F2 rather than F1. Yeah, this is set in 2005, hence the old Northern Rail livery, and this is a Blackpool North to Buxton service. Wee! So, uh, yeah, a lot of the Buxtons did go from Blackpool. Doesn't happen anymore, of course, but, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's one of them. We should really have played the first bit, shouldn't we, on, uh, on the old Northern lines from, uh, from Barrow, Barrow, Blackpool North to Preston. I tell you, do you know what, I'm so tired, I got in from work at half past two in the morning <laughs> this morning, it's now... 10 18 so i've not had my eight hours i've not had my allotted eight hours people so uh hopefully a little bit of sympathy will be extended there although if i fall asleep at the wheel and we go slamming through buxton then uh, that well hopefully that won't happen we, we won't talk about that we won't talk about that at all i've got a caffeinated beverage and hopefully by the time we get to buxton we'll be firing on all cylinders so, uh, yeah, in case you haven't gone and watched part one, I would definitely advise watching part one. We've done it in two parts, just so that the videos are nice little bite-sized chunks, you know, you, you're not... It's not too long, is it? Because an hour can be a long time. It can be a long time for me to record, and it can be a long time for you guys to watch. So, uh, so yeah, that's why we've done it in half an hour sections. Go back and watch that. £21.99 this route's going to cost you. It's an extension to the Hope Valley line, so you do need to own Sheffield to Derby, Midland Main Line. You need to own the Hope Valley extension, and then this. So this route is probably... You'd be looking well into the hundreds of pounds if you factor on the Midland Main Line and all of its extensions, but it's hours and hours and hours of, of fantastic driving. I mean, if you have a look, if we zoom out here, 
you've got all around the, the west of the Pennines, you've got all the east of the Pennines, all down here. There's so much. I mean, is that Leicester down the bottom? Yes, it is. Leicester, all the way up to Lincoln. There is so much to keep you occupied for your money. And I think we've seen a lot of this route on this channel, haven't we? But you can, you can really actually tell if you drive over the other side from the original Sheffield to Derby how the route building has improved. Because this, all these, uh, the Hope Valley and over here is just so much better. It really is. Oh, right, okay, Whaley Bridge the next stop, but we're not stopping here. Where might this be then? Any guesses? Shout out. I'm guessing from the signal box, Furnace Vale. Stand back, madam. Got some sort of road to the uh, to the right hand side here. I think we'll uh, we'll have a little little screenshot. You know me, I love a screenshot. Okay, that, that, I mean, that's just pretty, isn't it? You, you can't argue with the fact that that is gorgeous. This is where we uh, we go slamming through Whirly Bridge. I've said slamming, I've never said slamming through before in my life, and now I've said it twice in one video. What's wrong with you, man? I hope that's not going to be a new thing. Go. Bit of braking for Whaley Bridge. Of course, we've got so many train simulator things to get through this week, haven't we? We've got uh, we've obviously there's there's this which we had to finish off. We've got the London Overground route for Trends in World Four, which is actually fantastic. If you've not seen my video on that, go and look at that. That is absolutely brilliant. I am not as much of a Trains in World fan, don't get me wrong, there's some brilliant routes and nice little drives, but when Trains in World stacks up against Trains in Classic, alright, Trains in World's a bit prettier, but this is just infinitely better. Um, in terms of, I think, it, it, the only thing that I prefer about Trains in World really, other than the fact it's pretty, is uh, the fact that you can just drive a route, get out at the end of the line, walk down the train, change ends and drive it back again, that's quite a nice little, uh, nice little thing. Oh, I mean, we, we need that. Look at Whaley Bridge. That is so pretty. I really like that, actually, as a screenshot. That is lovely. Absolutely beautiful. Why do I look so annoyed to be here? I look fuming. Look, not even a smile, just a slightly raised eyebrow. Unbelievable. Oh, right, so where do you go here for Bugsworth and the Whaley Bridge Canal Basins? I mean, it's it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It makes me want to come here, although, to be fair... I think I have actually been here. I have driven... Oh, I've driven down this road in real life. I did not know there was a station here. Off we go. I should really have known that there is a station here because there's a massive sign according... Well, according to just trains there is anyway. I'm going to deny ever seeing that. I knew I'd heard of Whaley Bridge before. But yeah, when, uh, when I used to live in Macclesfield... If ever I was off to see my parents over uh, over in Yorkshire, instead of going up the uh, up the A34 and round the M60 and across, I used to frequently go over the tops through. Uh, we'd go through Whaley Bridge and then over through Glossop and uh, hang on, let me just double check. Where did I used to go? Yeah, we went up through Bollington. Uh, yeah, Whaley Bridge, Chinley over the tops. Not quite to hope, we'd come off at that point and we'd go over through Glossop, Home Firth and Uddersfield. It was a fantastic little run in the car. But yeah, never sort of made that connection with Whaley Bridge. can tell this is quite a steep uphill, 1 in 60 here. This is why they don't run paces. We just sit there with the wheels spinning, wouldn't we? Come on, full steam ahead. What interior have we got here? We've got the, uh, the Northern Spirit interior, is it there? 
I don't actually, but whoa, that's a bit close. 156464. Four. So what's the uh, what's the history behind this unit then? Let's have a look. I don't actually know, to be honest with you. And where is it now? It's probably still at Northern. 156464. Four. Well, of course it's still at Northern. Yeah, it, uh, it got repainted into the into the Northern Rail purple. And uh, it was actually named Lancashire Dales Rail. And had a, a big a big advert on the side, because it used to do that, didn't they, Northern? I quite like that. Uh, it was obviously new to regional railways. It wasn't an express one. It was a, uh, a regional railways super sprinter. Well, they all were, weren't they? 156s. I'm trying to find what livery it went in between the Northern prototype. I can't see one. Maybe it was just in super sprinter. Maybe they never changed the livery. Surely they must have. I can't find a picture of it flipping it. There's not an awful lot going on on uh, on Flickr with it. There's a hell of a lot in the in not the current Northern livery, but the, uh, the the purple beforehand. I miss when that was the current Northern livery, you know. Oh, it was uh, it was right. It was in the uh, you know the northwestern sort of blue sprinter, but it had a green stripe down the side. It was in that as well. Yeah, so maybe it just went from regional railways straight into this. I guess it's a good one to repaint, isn't it? Rather than one of the Ariba ones that would have been repainted to, like, after that. So I'm guessing, because Ariba repainted theirs, didn't they, in Northern Spirit? This must have been a northwest one. A first northwestern unit. Funny, isn't it, how the units move around? I think 42.6 is all we're getting on this, to be honest with you. The hill has gone even steeper, 1 in 58. And if you're not too sure what that means, it means that for every 58 bits you go along, you go up one. So for every 58 metres we travel, we go up one metre, so that is a really, really steep hill. For railway, anyway. If it was a car, you'd just fly up here. You wouldn't even think about it, would you? You could probably walk up it and not bat an eyelid. But for a train that's so heavy, and yeah, that, this is a, a steep hill indeed. Coming up to Chapel on Le Frith. Well, I say coming up, it's a mile away. That could take us a while at this speed. Where else do we... Oh, hang on. Pressing the wrong button there. Where else do we actually stop? Oh, Chapel on Le Frith and Buxton. Is it quite a little... Uh, quite a while between Chapel on Le Frith and Buxton then? I know there's Dovols. That That's just my favourite station on this line. I've got absolutely no idea why. It just sounds funny. When they, uh, I've heard them announce it at Piccadilly before. Shows go duff holes. Oh, I wonder where that is. And now we know. On the uh, fantastic conventional semaphore signal in here, I wonder if we can uh, we can see over there the Hope Valley somewhere in that direction. We'll have a uh, quick screenshot. Oh, I hope the mouse isn't in the way. That's a disaster. Well, uh, such a steep hill will uh, will just coast. Although I think I might have taken the throttle off a little bit early here. Mm. There we go. I mean, it's quite a, quite a trial going north northbound, going up the hill. On the way back down, at least you know we'll be up to seventy five in no time. Well, we will, because it's fifty. But you know what I mean. Look at this chapel on the frith. Look at all the hanging baskets and the flowers and the signal box and the... Yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Clearly, you can tell that. I mean, look at that. That's just... Oh, that's beautiful. So where do we go from here? Eccles Pike and Combs Reservoir. I'm assuming it's Combs and not Coombs. That's another... Yeah. I mean, this is just going... This is just going in the photo bank here. It's so pretty. I'd better be careful here not to get hit by a train from behind. 
I mean, look at the amount that they've done with the station. They've got all the... Oh, 66 in DB. See, this all strikes me as stuff that is actually here. Oh, I thought the doors were shutting. Right, okay, fair dues. There's a bit of a weird bug if you click around here on train sim at the minute, and it was doing it... Um, I was doing it the other day with one of the other trains I was driving. I think it was the 350. If you click around here, it re-releases the doors. I've got absolutely no idea why it does that. There we go. Right, we're stopping again. We'll just pretend that the guard re-released because, you know, someone was hadn't quite got off in time. We'll go straight into notch 5, otherwise we're never going to get up to speed, are we? 1 in 150, so it's a much... Uh, much shallower gradient but it looks like it goes steeper again after this signal just after here look can you see what I mean nope back yeah back into 1 in 58 oh yeah Buxton 5.12 miles so yeah quite a while Come on, train, you can do it. These poor 156s must have had a hell of a life. You know, all these hills that they've just been thrashed over. Because don't forget, 156s used to do the Barrow and Furnace runs. Not a massive slog up the West Coast main line, wasn't it? You know, the 156 is, is very much sort of unappreciated in that sense, isn't it, really? I mean, what do you think? 156s all over the place. Used to They used to be pretty much doing what 158s did, weren't they? I mean, they were sort of, that's why they were super sprinters, you know, they did things like Barrow and Furnace, they did obviously Liverpool to Norwich back in the, uh, well I say back in the day, East Midlands used to still send them, uh, East Midlands Railway still used to send them, didn't they, until uh, obviously those units are now at Northern, I think they're all the 156s at Northern now, I think they are, aren't they? Scott Rail don't have any 156s anymore, do they, I think all them went to Northern. This is why they do have loads. Hang on a second. Uh, class 156. Let's uh, have a quick Google. I don't recommend using the telephone whilst driving. Yeah, current operations, Northern Trains and Scott Rail. So yeah, Scott Rail still do have some. I thought they got rid of them. I thought they were all 158s now running around on those lines. But look at how, ro how wrong I was. I think 38... It's pretty much all we're getting up this hill, isn't it? And look at this, the, the, the super elevation as well, the, the slight camber on the tracks, the left and the right. If this was a slightly faster line, you'd feel like a fighter pilot, wouldn't you? Weaving through the valley. As it happens, fighter pilots do tend to go faster than 39.1 miles an hour. I imagine if you did 39.1 miles an hour in a plane, you'd probably fall out of the sky. Another tunnel here with a nice little plaque on the left. Can we read what it says? Mm, uh, uh, something. We're going too fast. For those of you that have paused the video and gone, yes, of course, you can read it. It says this, Joe. That's cheating. You're not allowed to pause. I just love how the track cambers round. The, the attention to detail is just phenomenal in this route. It really, really is. Honestly, I have never recommended a product so much in my life, I don't think. But yeah, really, really good. If you like little stopping services, bit of diesel, you know, we all love the wherry lines for that, pootling up and down. But this line just takes the biscuit with how good it, it is for the money. I mean, I, I would happily pay more than twenty one ninety nine. Sorry, shush, shush, Joe, shush. I mean, no, $21.99 is, is an ideal price. That's fantastic. What I want them to do now uh, is I want just trains to uh, to abandon the Midland Main Line. And those of you that are like, what? Um, I would love them to do a separate add-on for Manchester lines because there's so many lines that we don't have, which they could easily, I say they could easily do, with these guys' talents, they could easily do. Is this doubles? Is this doubles? Ah, Dove Holes. It's just a funny name, isn't it? There's probably nothing here. 
yeah, nothing here, but <laughs> just makes me laugh. Um, yeah, I would love them to do Manchester lines. There's so many lines out of Manchester now. Or Leeds lines, for instance. You know, one of the big cities up north, because we've got quite a lot out of Sheffield, but when you think we don't have anything from Sheffield to Leeds currently, they could redo Leeds to Doncaster, which is showing its age now. Uh, they could do Leeds to Sheffield via Castleford, via Moorthorpe, Leeds to Huddersfield, because that's garbage from just trains, uh, not just trains, dovetail games. Uh, Leeds to Huddersfield, they've got the Calder Valley to Manchester, they've got all around the Skipton Triangle and, and up that way. Harrogate could be redone, because for some reason I have loads of milk bottles on my Harrogate, I still don't know what I'm missing um, <laughs> every time I drive it. You know, they could redo York. Selby as well. Do we have Selby? I don't think we do, do we? So there's so many out of Leeds. Same as Manchester. Piccadilly to Manchester Airport. That is a line that we're missing. That's another Dovetail Games line which they could do Manchester Airport to Preston with a Class 331. Or a Transpennine Class 397. You know, there's, there's a lot that we could... Oh, we're going downhill. Look at the speed! Manchester up to, uh, well, obviously you've got Manchester to Leeds, haven't you, that we've already got from, uh, from, oh, well, we don't have it from Piccadilly. Permanent distance signal on the left there, fixed distance. They could do Manchester to Liverpool again via Warrington, because that's showing its age now. Up to Preston, you know, you've got all round, um, round Wigan and that way. down towards uh, Stoke-on-Trent crew. That's that's what I want to see from Just Trains now. I mean, it's very easy for me to say that, isn't it? I mean, if all the developers live over sort of Midland Main Lineway and this is their passion, then, you know, you, you can understand why they do this route. But yeah, guys, if you are watching this and if you are listening, a, a Manchester Airport line, brilliant. I would love to be able to drive a Class 185 from, from Manchester Airport all the way to York. That would be pretty awesome. Right, let's make sure that, we, uh, that, that we're slowing down, because that fixed distance signal could indicate this next one's a red, and if it is a red, we're about to go steaming through it, aren't we? Luckily, it's a green. But, uh, what's over here? Have we got a bit of... Uh, bit of ah, yeah, there's a 66, EWS 66. So that doesn't look like it could be that long ago, does it, really? Because, I mean, let's face it, there's still some that are running around in EWS livery today. So, if memory serves me right, this line here, hang on, let's have a look. Luke, where are we? That's Leicester. Yeah, this line here is just a siding. So this line off to the left goes round. Oh, hang on, yeah, there we go. That line off to the left there goes round and actually joins on at the triangle at Chinley which you'll have seen before, you, uh, you're motoring along and you have to slow down for 50 miles an hour. You go round to the left if you're heading towards Sheffield, round to the right if you're heading towards Manchester, that is how it works. Um, can't go, oh look, the Buxton signage is actually falling down, that's brilliant. And the O's falling off, please tell me the O's down here. Oh no, where's the O? I'm disappointed, that would have been comedy gold if the O was just sort of lying in the shrubbery. I'm disappointed, just trains. Disappointed. <laughs> that would have been brilliant. Right, well, here we are. It is like stepping back in time, this, isn't it? Buxton. Wow. This is a uh, this is an end of the line and a half, isn't it? I mean, look at it. That's awesome. It just looks so neglected, doesn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Right, well, that is where we are going to leave it for today, ladies and gents. You're probably sick of hearing me be so positive about a product. But, uh, yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button. It's always appreciated. And uh, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. I have a feeling we will probably do the return trip at some point. I did want to do this as a live stream, but uh, I've still been having internet issues. I think I need to replace the motherboard, which just sort of makes me want to cry. But, um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. If you, uh, if you want to keep up with all things Train Simulator. We will be covering Trains and World Scotrail Circle, Fife Circle. And uh, we will, of course, be back on London Overground. And this, apart from that, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.